day 94. It's a cold one in the Shenandoahs. It's in the 40s right now. It's kind of weird to be in the 40s in the middle of summer, but hey, it's kind of a nice morning. I'm rather hoping to see a bear this morning. Everybody tells me their eyes glow red at night. I'm curious to find out the truth. Now that I've seen one, they're even less scary than I thought they would be. I've seen tougher looking dogs. <clears throat> Although that was a bear running away from me. Not scary. Bear running towards me? I'll probably be terrified. Ah, <sighs> you know, just take it easy and mosey through these mountains. I hear they're loads of fun. They look decently flat as far as mountains go, or we're walking along the ridges or something, according to the maps. Doesn't look bad, though. I'm gonna be traveling with Igloo for a little while, as long as she can keep up. She's a slow walker, but she can still put out 15 or so a day. Try to push her towards 20. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about the Shenandoahs. They just seem like they're gonna be a good time. Guess I might as well get to it. Man, I wish stars would capture in a camera. Right there, that little guy, his Venus shining so bright. Tons of stars out, but none of them will show up on camera. I'm hoping to find a spot like this for a sunrise, at least, somewhere where I can see the sky. I haven't gotten a good sunrise in so long. Uh, let's hope for the best. Looks like this is about the best spot I'm going to get for a sunrise. So I'll have to take it. And I see a rock over there I could just sit down and make some coffee on. Sure, I only had coffee like an hour ago, but, you know, it's never too soon for a second coffee. The nights don't last very long right now. And no bears. Whatever. And I don't want to really get close to one at night because they are way more intimidating at night. Everything is. But I'm really curious if their eyes glow red. And what color of red? Are we talking like demon red? I don't know. So I straight like left camp. We just cowboy camped on the ground. You know, no tents, just, you know, laying on a mattress on the ground. And I straight left Igloo there just laying on the ground sleeping. I never would have left a wildfire like that. But, you know, I'm not really responsible for Igloo. I feel responsible for everybody around me. It's one of my things. But, you know, she's a creature of sound logic. So, you know, she wanted to cowboy camp. She cowboy camps way more often than I do. She's got way more stones. But last night was a good night. So I figured, well, why not? Because even though setting up and breaking down my tent only takes a couple of minutes, I am lazy inherently. So if you can just sleep on the ground and avoid all that nonsense, why not? So from my vantage point, yeah. Shenandoahs do look decently flat. I see no huge mountains peeking above me. These all look like hills from where I'm at. Maybe I'm really high. I don't feel like I am, so. Oh, what's that? Oh, just a bird. That's something was sneaking up on me. But yeah, now this looks really all that intimidating. I'm going to blow through this in no time at all, man. Well, once I get done drinking my coffee and enjoying the sunrise. Yeah, tiny point of dot, yeah, point of light. You have no idea how bright that thing is. That's Venus. Looks beautiful, this guy. Right now, it's all by itself. All the other stars are gone. Man, this is a really good morning. <clears throat> These dudes just don't even care. Okay, that one does a little bit. You're a little skittish. I am totally friendly. I just would really love to pet a deer. It would make my day. I was walk up all slowly, calm and tough, all nice and friendly. Oh, you're a good deer, aren't you? Nope. Come on, why is everybody gonna treat me like that? Oh, whatever. That's just rude. It's just rude. Finally, I encountered the spring. I was out of water after second coffee. But this damn path leading up here was filled with stinging nettles. Stinging nettles and a mini skirt do not go well together. So everything below my knee is stingy and itchy. But that's the price you pay to want a drink, you know? So I might stay here and have myself a third coffee while I stretch the hell out of my legs. So far the Shenandoahs have been a cakewalk. These trails are so smooth and level. So many people walk through this thing, it's obvious. 
heats up like this, I'll be done with the Shenandoahs in 20 minutes or so. This is easy walking. I hope the whole thing's like this. This is hiking. Everything else I've been doing is mountain climbing. It's about time I get my hike on. And I'm enjoying it. It's already day. This is the third time they've made me cross this road. How many hikers get wiped out crossing these roads? Only fools like me that walk in the middle of it while filming. I might as well be texting and walking right now. Warning. There's bears in this area. I like the bottom one right there. The black bear attacks always fight back. It rhymes, so it must be true. Bears don't scare me, as long as the sun's up anyway. At night, that's a whole nother story. Oh, hey, looky there. I get to cross the road again. I mean, not that I've seen a single car on this road yet today. I don't even know what today is. Huh. But whatever day it is, evidently it's not a busy traffic day for these guys, because, yeah, no one. I heard some people tell me they just walk the road for this part of the AT. Instead of walking the actual AT, it shaves off many a mile. It's a lot faster to walk that. Why the hell would I want to walk on the road? That makes no sense to me whatsoever. If I was trying to save time, I probably wouldn't be walking 2,000 miles. Just saying. The green tunnel is in full effect here. It is a bright and sunny day. The sun is up high. But there's just tiny little spots of light in here. So dark that even a ginger could do it. It's rather pleasant though. No big uphills, no big downhills. The path is well maintained. Shenandoahs are a breeze so far. Sure, I'm just into them and I'm probably gonna regret saying that. But so far, man, great. Ooh, and what have we here? I have a badass sign and that drawing looks exactly like me. Ooh, I'm gonna go over to my friend Trevor and Kay's house and they're gonna hook me up some trail magic. I'm trying to move this sign. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah. Let's go see what this is all about. So I am off the AT again. I'm on a yellow blazed road, which I don't exactly know what that means. Is it a fire road? Maybe, I don't know. But I'm just trying to follow the signs. <clears throat> Trevor's wife, Kay, is an incredibly awesome cook. They say they're gonna be doing a big old shindig tonight. He's already got his kiddie pool filled up so I can soak my feet in it. Cause it has been a long day. <sighs> oh, I see people coming up the way. Maybe they've seen my other sign. I shall inquire. God, I hope I'm on the right path. I've been walking for a while. Oh, my feet are killing me. I need a break so bad. But every time I come around the corner, I can see down at least a quarter mile more of trail. Over and over. It'll totally be worth it when I get to the end. Totally be worth it, but I am in a lot of pain right now. Stupid feet, stupid boots. I blame the boots. Not the guy who bought the boots. It's never his fault. It's definitely the boots fault. Man, I hope I'm getting close. Cause I, I, I literally do not have much more left in me. Enough to make it, I guess, but. But damn, why everything gotta be so far away? No, I rounded another corner and I can see down a good half mile, man. Well, maybe not that far, but it feels that far. This is definitely not the AT, because the AT would hook me up with a road already, because she loves me. This stupid horse trail doesn't love me at all. Stab you, horse trail. Oh, take that, stupid horse trail. When are you gonna end? Ugh. I just want to soak my feet in that pool so bad. And drink a beer, that'd be nice too. Oh, I'm getting all whiny. Oh, 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 oh. How long can this go on? Plus the fact that I'm headed south again is kind of annoying me. And it's like I just walked like 18 miles north. Turn around now, I gotta walk like three or four south. Why you gotta do that to me, stupid horse trail? I blame this all on you. Oh my god, not again. I came around the corner and it goes on forever again. Ah, oh, it's like a really bad show. Like, like the Groundhog Day, but 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 not cool at all. Ah, oh, just more trail. More trail, stupid horse trail. Take that, take that. Ah, it will end eventually. It has to. 
If I end up back on Springer Mountain, though, I'm gonna be pissed. I just ran into some day hikers, and they tell me the road isn't for miles. That can't be true. I've been on this road for miles already. It can't be more miles. It just can't. Oh, I don't have it in me. Oh, damn, I don't know what to do. I really don't have more miles left in me. And I got no cell service to call them up and tell them, hey, man, I'm, I'm just going to camp here. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep on walking and whining. Lots of whining, lots of walking. Oh, but a hicker's got a hick. Let's get our hick on. Oh, I'm just not feeling it right now. Where's the road? Oh, where's the road? And yet again, I can see way off in the distance. <laughs> There's no road. There is no road. So finally, I have run into Trevor. That means we are very close to his car. Yes. Ah, oh, all the walking is over. And Maxwell, of course. What's up, Maxwell? Bunch of little fishies and a crawfish. <sighs> Almost there. So a little foot care while I'm here, running a needle through. A little bit of thread. I'm gonna leave the thread in so it can leak out both sides. And then soak the hell out of my feet. Oh, they're gonna thank me for this. You have no idea how hard this is to do on this side of your foot. Why can't things be on the inside that I can reach? No, no, they all gotta be on the outside. We're gonna be all contorted to get to them. Uh, chilling here, soak my feet in the pool. Already had a barbecue, but that was just a warm up barbecue. Feeding me liquor, even Bloody Marys. When's the last time you had a Bloody Mary? I'm having one right now. Did not see that coming in my future. So yeah, I'm gonna kick it here all night, and then, unfortunately, it's a long walk in here, so I got a long walk back out, but well worth it. Good times indeed. Here we go. And here we go. Big Dan.